Here in the center of a sleepy slate quarry, Waldeck East Cemetery rises like a strange oasis. A sea of tall trees and low scrub brush in sight of the road, if only you could see it. All the time is the hum of traffic passing up Mary Jane Riley Road or down the 101. It's a noise that rolls over one into another, not much meaning for bodies mostly buried before the age of cars came along. Here lies Barry, Milbury, Henshaw, and Beals, lost between 1856 and 1939. The last of them all was Mary Jane Riley herself, gone at 85. I'm here to offer salvation to the stones. Cut back the brush so someone can read the names again. After all, we only have what we remember.
I have very few dead of my own in Nova Scotia. Just three in a local seaside cemetery, and the rest back in Ontario, the Netherlands, and Denmark. I'm not part of the history here. I just sprang from the ground 30-odd years ago and started wondering whose shoulders I'm standing on. Who made this land what it is today? And what can I gain from asking the past? I was born in the dead center and never even knew it. Annapolis County has more of what was, but is no longer. More abandoned roads, cemeteries, homes, and churches than anywhere else in the province. When it falls to me to uncover the forgotten, I can say for sure, I've done my best. <laughs>